If you've been following the channel recently, you'll probably know I've been working on a massive Scarif collab project. And well, if you didn't, then you're probably not subscribed. When you think of Scarif, you probably think of the imposing Citadel Tower, the beautiful beaches, or maybe the landing pad filled with tons of stormtroopers struggling to cope with a handful of rebels. Well, I'm not trusted to build any of those. What I do have though is a UCS ATAT, -AT, three in fact, and I'm gonna convert one into the ATACT -AT that we see on Scarif. I've identified three major differences between the two walkers. Most notably, the orange cargo section will need to be added on both sides of the armor paneling. I'm going to remove the medium repeating blasters on the side of the AT-80 -AT and repurpose the chin mounted heavy laser cannons to fit on the side of the ATACT's head. I designed some prototypes on Studio and then made some Bricklink orders. Whilst I wait for the pieces to arrive, I need you guys to make sure you're subscribed. Currently, my old dead channel Tech Productions Bruh. has more subscribers than this one, and it's so embarrassing and I need to overtake it. So make sure you're subscribed. That'll be the pieces. So I've got all the pieces organized for the side panels and I've got the studio file open with all the different sections. Uh, basically, I've done it layer by layer. So I can just follow it one after the other and build these two sections up. Um, and I've got the, uh, the camera set up so I can jump into the time lapse and let's get this built. So I've pulled the panels off the ATAT. -AT. it's just a lot easier to work that way. I've now got the orange cargo parts of the ATACT -AT to put on. So the technique I'm going to use is if you pull this door up, try to do this one handed, you can take this plate off and there's basically a load of studs that you can attach this to. So all I've got to do is just take a few of these parts out, flip this door around, it's super easy, and then I can attach these on, and then there's just a couple of ratcheted hinge plates under here to attach these bits on. So I'm gonna do that now. I've also got the parts for the cannons and stuff, and I've got the panels for those. So I'll do that, but I'll concentrate on getting these orange bits on first. So you have the parts that have been taken off and I'm really liking how these look. I've accidentally put them at two different heights. This one is one brick lower, but I think this looks better because it covers this gap in here. Otherwise you've got like this exposed gray bit. So I'm gonna shift that one down. The other thing that I'm going to do is just some plates. It's probably gonna be like two plates. I might have to take that ingot out, but I'm gonna run two plates thick along there just so it covers up the gap a bit. And then I might get one just in there as well just to cover that up as when this panel is on it, it does like angle in pretty much like that actually so i'm gonna move that down get that done and then i will go on and build the head cannons As you can see, all the parts of the ATACT -AT have now been assembled. We've got the custom cannons here. I'm really happy with how these turned out and these panels work so well. And I'm really glad that I can just make this interchangeable as well. So I think it's time we get these panels onto the ATAT -AT and see what it looks like. <laughs> 